Hello there. My name is Minka Leeser, and I am here to show you my first book and to read it to you, actually. The name of the book is Sally and the Peepee -Pee Princess, a nighttime bedwetting story. And this is based on the true story of what happened in my home during the potty training years. The message of the book is to have positive potty training experiences. So here we go. Little Sally's mommy tucked her in bed and kissed her goodnight. Sweet dreams, my love, mommy said. Sally went right to sleep. While she slept, suddenly her bedroom window opened and something or someone flew in. Sally didn't even know because she was asleep. It was a fairy with a little pouch. She gently sprinkled gold dust over the bed, then flew out of the bedroom window. I think that's a mischievous look on that fairy's face. In the morning, Sally's mommy woke her up with a kiss and a smile. When Sally got up, her bed and panties were wet. Mommy, she cried, I wet my bed. Don't worry, my love, mommy replied. The Peepee -pee princess came to visit you. That's why your bed is wet again. I will change your sheets and make up your bed for you while you are in school, mommy explained. While Sally was in school, Mommy thought about her challenge. Sally only wets the bed at night. I want her to be dry. What can I do to help? Mommy put her finger to her temple. I think it's time for Sally to meet the Peepee -pee Princess, she said to herself, smiling. That night before bed, as Sally's mommy sat beside her, she said, I have an idea, Sally. Let's call the Peepee -pee Princess tonight and ask her to stop coming here. Would you like to try? Oh, yes, mommy. I want to call the Peepee -pee Princess, she exclaimed with delight. She held her two fingers up, one to her ear, the other to her mouth, just like a telephone, and she dialed. Hello, this is the Peepee -pee Princess speaking. Hello, this is Sally. I have a question to ask you. Go ahead, Sally, replied the Peepee -pee Princess. Would you please skip my house tonight? The princess looked at her calendar. Sure, Sally, I can visit someone else tonight, she replied. Thank you very much, answered Sally. What did she say? Mommy asked curiously. She said she would not visit me tonight, said Sally with a smile. Sally awoke with a start the next morning. Mommy, look, my bed is dry. The Peepee -pee Princess didn't come. Sally was beaming with happiness and Mommy was too. On the other side of the street, Johnny woke up with a surprise. He had wet his bed and felt embarrassed and confused. He hadn't expected to wake up wet again. Sally saw Johnny at school looking very sad and upset. Sally figured out he was embarrassed that he wet the bed last night. She went over to him and whispered, it's okay, Johnny. I know what happened last night. It's happened to me too, but I found out how to solve it. Just call the Peepee -pee Princess and ask her not to visit you. Johnny smiled. Thanks, Sally. It helps to know I'm not alone. I know what to do now. Sally ran home at the end of the school day, excited to tell mommy the news. The Peepee -pee Princess visited Johnny last night, Sally explained, 
and I told him all about the PP princess. He's going to call her tonight. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. And to learn more about the book, you can go to Amazon and take a peek.